I love how everything is just a modern, organic vibe to it. So it's a mixture of modern and rustic. All of these elements, characters, textures. And I particularly love how they use this furniture. I mean, this might not be included in the, the house itself, but this is a pretty famous chair. So if you can identify who designed this, hint, it starts with the letter I. Comment it in the comment section down below and see who knows who designed this chair. Peasant City, but first, make sure you hit like, click, subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Presello underscore official. My name is Julia, and welcome to another Presello open house tour. From the front, I know, I know, it looks very, very homey and interesting and gorgeous and all of that. And let me tell you, it is. So you have your vehicle gate here on the left and your pedestrian gate here in the center, which will lead you to a pathway leading, of course, to the main entrance. But the first thing that you will see is your four vehicle car port here on the left. It is partially covered. Obviously, if you park the two cars here on the uh, inner portion, it's going to be completely covered. And then the two others here partially covered. Depends. Like today, it was raining earlier. Shabra, depending on the angle or the angle of the rain, if it's gonna get wet or not. On the left side of your carport, you have access to the service area, which we will get to in a bit. But for now, let's follow the path with a view of your garden. And the path leading to the side of your house. And isn't this just so cozy? It's so peaceful and it's it feels like it's slowing down time that's really what the vibe is maybe it's the sound of the water squashing about or maybe it's just the whole look of the house which is modern but still very charming and rustic in its own way okay so you have here your solid nada main entrance double doors by the way nice and wide and once you enter, you will be greeted by your foyer or your receiving area. Beautifully um, accented by this centerpiece with lots of um, accent pieces and of course your chandelier. Now from here you can go to several areas or points of interest but the first thing that we will go through is the sliding door. So here you will be led to your living area. You have really nice high ceiling and wide open spaces. You know what I just realized? I'm talking a little slower, a little bit more relaxed than I normally am. It's because it's the vibe of this house. It, it makes you want to 
have a slower pace and I love that about this house. Okay, so your living area is obviously quite spacious. You have two sets of sofas and then access points to several areas. Now let's go through this one first because it's the one with the glass panel. And speaking of glass panel, guys, if the entire glass, all four panels were the viewers, okay, all of you guys watching our videos, all of this, only about 33% of you, which is more or less just this part, are the ones subscribed. So it would... Why is that, guys? All of you guys watch our videos, but only these are the ones who are subscribed. So in case you haven't yet, kindly do subscribe. It lets us know that you appreciate the videos that we make so that we can continue making them. Okay, but for now, let me open this up so that we can go in to the dining area. Now your dining area is nice and cozy and enclosed, compartmentalized specifically thanks to the glass sliding doors, which gives this whole area a very private feel while still being open. Because again, it is glass. So it still lets you see the people in the living area even if you close the doors. Now on this side, you might notice that it is frosted because on this side, we have access to the kitchen. So if you open this up and let's say you were entertaining some guests, all of you guys would be just having a good time preparing here while talking to the people sitting in the dining area and even the ones sitting from the living area. Now, now about the kitchen, we have a center or island counter and then surfaces all around the mall. <laughs> <laughs> so you have your sink over there, your provision for your stove over here, and then your refrigerator. So obviously the stove has been taken out already. And yes, this is a pre-owned home, but it's only five months old actually. And obviously it's still pretty much new. The only bonus is you get to see it with all of the furniture and the items, which lets you appreciate just what you can fit in these spaces. So we have lots of storage vertically as well. And then we have a screen door over here that will lead you to the daily kitchen. Now the service area is really, really nice. You have some London red bricks going on here. Very nice and natural, very warm to look at. You're built in sink and very clean, just very clean layout. So more of the built-in sink over here. It's up to you where you want to put your laundry area. And then over there, I'm not going to go there anymore. But that's where the male and female staff quarters are with a shared toilet and bath. Okay, let's go back in. Oops, sorry. Are you done? And go out the dining or the kitchen door and back into the living area. Now from here, we have sliding doors, of course, that lead out to the patio. You can also go here via the dining area. So, uh, isn't this backyard just so peaceful? It, it's, it's so relaxing, especially now that it's in the afternoon, it's siesta time. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Maybe that's why I feel the slow vibe. But no, regardless, kahit umaga, kahit gabi, hapon, this backyard is going to be as peaceful as it is now. Apart from the fact that you are in an exclusive subdivision, which already in itself is quiet. So you can fit your setup over here. You can fit a huge dining layout for an outdoor dining experience, along with your very manicured garden. Isn't this just romantic? Even the arches, nice and modern, but still has character. You know, it has touches of the natural textures on the wood, on the linen, on the fabrics, etc. Even the shears. Okay, so let's go back in. Go. So you have a different perspective of the living area and of the receiving area. Okay, so let's cross the floor over to this hallway. This hallway, although, you know, personal items and all, is actually a storeroom, so it's neat anyways. 
Now, how nice is that? Even the stone room is high ceiling and very easily accessible from the living, the kitchen, the dining, and the guest bedroom, which is right here. Check this out, guys. You're in for a treat. Look at that. It's so beautiful. You have a mural type wallpaper here on this side of the room because the two walls are basically just windows. It's just glass peering over your garden, your front lawn and your side garden. And this is the only solid wall and they put a mural type wallpaper in it. And it's so lovely. Obviously you can fit a king size bed in here so you have lots of space. And then we have an ensuite, toilet and bath with your Walk it out with, with your wardrobe and your ensuite with your powder powder room. <laughs> Excuse me, with your water closet, your sink, and your enclosed shower space. You have such high ceiling that they were able to put cornices in the in the corners. That's how much space you have, and it doesn't dwarf the space even if the cornices aren't exactly tiny. Also, take note how the room itself has nada planks for the flooring. It's nice and warm to look at, nice on the feet as well, versus the common areas which are tiled. Beautiful tiles, by the way, large stone tiles or stone-like tiles. Then over here, we have the main stairs, but before that, let's check out this door. A few steps down. And this will lead you to the powder room or the guest powder room. I think I can open this all the way. There we go. So you have your sink, your water closet, and a uno. So perfect for guests, whoever it may be. Okay, I won't close it. It's John is there. <laughs> and it is now time to head to the second floor. And might I just add, the stairs are gorgeous. Solid wood, has so much character, but looks very clean. I love it. And the railings are custom, obviously. I mean, a lot of railings are custom, but check out how this is just built different. You know, the wood carves in and around. The steel is, you know, it has a pattern, sure, but it also breaks certain patterns depending on where it is. So, it has art to it. You have a lot of natural light coming into the spaces thanks to all of the windows, but you also have these uh, wall mounted lights that. Um, illuminate the stairs so it's easy to climb up and down the stairs at night and speaking of climbing up and down it's very easy on the knees because the steps are quite low borderline senorita so lower than your standard okay so here on the second floor again we have several ways to go to but let's go through here first and this is the storage room okay full of stuff but this is your storage or linen closet so that's nice that it's there and then here at the end, we have two doors that lead to bedrooms. And here we have bedroom number two. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> nice and bright again with high ceiling. We have cornices again. And I love how it still looks very modern, right? Some people have this connotation that maybe when you put cornices, it's gonna look old or old fashioned. It really doesn't. It, it depends on how you use it, how you paint it, and how the overall theme looks. And I love how this one is just timeless and modern still. You have a balcony here when you open your glass panels. So it's a, if I'm not mistaken, it's called a Juliet balcony. You have lots of space. And of course, you have an ensuite, toilet and bath. You have a vanity, like a huge vanity. Lots of wardrobe space. Then over here, you have the actual ensuite, toilet and bath with your sink, your water closet, and your enclosed shower space here in the corner. I love the tufted furniture. It just has this very princessy vibe, doesn't it? It doesn't, in, like, as much as we don't want to gender rooms or anything, this is very princessy. 
without being tacky, and that's the thing. It's still very muted, still very classy. All right, next to that, we have bedroom number three, which is safe to say is a very neutral room, but this is in fact the boys' room. So we have windows over here that's just being covered by the uh, window treatments, your bed space, your built-in over there, and then your ensuite, toilet and bath, with your sink, your water closet, and your enclosed shower space. There is no vanity. <laughs> I suppose the, the one who occupied this room didn't need it. And then over here, we have another room. Now this one was used as the study or office, as you can tell, with the built-ins. Nice and timeless built-ins. Again, very consistent with this house actually. This is the kind of house that could stand 20 years later and it's not gonna look aged at all. This is this is the kind of house that will definitely age well. Especially since all the doors are solid wood and then your floor is solid Naira or Naira planks. It's gonna last a good while. So this room also has an ensuite toilet and bath with your sink, your enclosed shower space, and your water closet. So even if this was used as an office, if you needed another bedroom, no problem. You could just transform this one into another bedroom. And then right next to that, we have this space. Now, obviously it's another room, but this time with sliding doors and they use this one as a gym. But if you didn't need a gym, although I'm not gonna lie, having a gym in your home is very convenient. But if you didn't need it, you could turn this into an entertainment room. You could turn this into the study if you wanted that one to be a bedroom. Possibilities are endless. It's up to you, it's your home. But it's nice that this is right in front of the main stairs. So actually, it will work well as an entertainment or office. Okay, so let's, let's look at this perspective for now and this door. Because that is where we're gonna exit later on. But this is where we're gonna go in. So all of this is storage, right? Cool, no? So all of that is storage, nice and easy on the eyes, very clean and minimalist. You have all of this light. You almost don't feel like that storage. It just feels like a blank wall. And then over here, you have a door and another Julia type uh, balcony. But this one disappears over the living area. And you might have guessed this is the master bedroom. But it has an ante room. So this is the master's anteroom that could be an office. It's their entertainment. This is where, you know, if you had guests over and you just wanted to check out who was hanging out in the living room, you can check it out from here. Super cool, right? Or if they were just arriving, <laughs> I suppose you could go out here in your own balcony Pretty huge balcony in my view. So it spans all the width of the bedroom, right? If anyone was partying out in the garden, you could also check them out from here. If you wanted to, I suppose. You could also place some seating here. You know, just you know, a, a nice little corner to hang out. But as a breakfast nook, this is perfect. Perfect idea. Have some coffee here in the morning. Ugh. Okay, so where is the bedroom? Well, you have two doors on either side of this television. Either one you go through will lead you to the actual bedroom itself. Yeah, it's so peaceful. It's like you're shutting the world off when you're in here. This is your own private, quiet sanctuary. Everything else outside is miles and miles away. That's what it feels like. You still have access to that said balcony from here, but right now it's closed. So this is this is it. This is your cocoon, and then this gorgeous door leads to your ensuite, toilet, and bath with your um, urinal, your enclosed shower space, his and hers sinks. I love how there's a plant in this on the sink. <laughs> And then on this side, you have your water closet and your clawfoot 
modernized clawfoot bathtub. It's a modern but very romantic home, isn't it? And then on this side, you have the walk-in closet. An even bigger vanity on this side. And then all of this is wardrobe space. Then you have a bench in the middle, of course, for the times when you need to sit down and maybe change your shoes, what have you. I love, oops, sorry, hopefully the air <laughs> didn't interfere with the mic. I love that there is this space here. Remember the door that I showed you earlier? Well, this is it. This door will lead you back out into the main hallway. So really the only way for you to get to the main or the master bedroom is via the walk-in closet or the ante room. So talagang nakahiwalay ka from the outside world. And then from here, you have a few more steps up, which will lead you to the third floor. Now, the third floor really only has a storeroom and a uh, um, walk-in. No, actually, one of them is a dresser, like a, a, like a formal dressing room, but I cannot. <laughs> Sorry, it was dark. Yeah, it's, it's locked right now. This is a full formal dressing room. And this is a storeroom. <laughs> so we're not gonna go in there anymore. I wish I could show you this one. Do we have my photos in this one? Photos? Photos? It's a website, yeah. So we have photos on the website, we just can't tour it now. <laughs> but make sure you check that one. I'm gonna link it in the description so you can check it out on the website. But yeah, that is pretty much the entire house. It's practically two floors which is nice and the third one is like a bonus floor again for all of your stuff for all of your clothes your shoes etc and this look at this it's stuff you see in magazines right okay but now on to the numbers time for a recap okay let's do the recap out in here just because it's so peaceful I love how you can hear the birds as well. Okay, so you have 605 square meters for the lot area. Yeah, it's actually quite a big lot area, as you could tell from the garden. You have 800 square meters of floor area spread over three stories and, you know, a little, a lot of vertical space, really, because both the first and second floor have really high ceiling. And then you have a few steps down for the powder room and then a few steps up for the third floor right six bedrooms some of those that we've seen here were converted into an office or a, a gym but basically you have six bedrooms and then one entertainment room one of the bedrooms is on the ground floor so that's really nice if you are after that kind of layout and honestly it's very very practical you have segmented uh, common area so you're living your dining and your kitchen are technically all in one huge open space, but they are segmented via glass sliding panels. So if you wanted them to be more private, no problem. And it's the same with your patio. Nice huge area, but you can open it up for an indoor-outdoor situation. You have a four-vehicle car port, and then a male and female staff quarters, and all of this neatly wrapped in a gorgeous, modern, sort of rustic vibe in Piera Pura. Kezansay. So if you're anyone you know is interested in a place like this, send this video to them. Or if you want to see it for yourself, send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here.